Dante Tank Davis. King Ryan Garcia. The power of Davis! The flash, the hand speed. Two undefeated stars, two journeys, one mega fight to make history. It's over! It doesn't get any better than this! Gervonta Davis versus Ryan Garcia, Saturday, April 22nd, live on pay-per-view. Thank you, I appreciate this. You want your one of these? I'm good, KG. You want your ginger shot? I'm good, man, I'm good. I need some positivity today. I'm trying to cover this spread, and your vibe is off, G. What's wrong with my vibe? You got to get you one of these, G. Get to sip some of this positivity in your life, and boom! You see that? Spread's covered. Thank you, mama. In a minute, G. Ha-ha! Man, it's KG Certified. We got the one and only today. <laughs> Boogie Cuz is in the house, baby! What's up with you, boy? Up, man? Baby. Thank you for coming through, yes, man. Yes, I appreciate you, What man. you been on, bugs? Man, I'm out the way, man. I've been on father time, keeping his body in order. Word. Waiting around for these guys to give me a call, bro. Really? Yeah, man. That's really keeping the... it simple right now. That's the script right now? That's the script, bro. Chilling. Oh, I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor right that's now. That's dope, man. That's dope. When you watch it, man, what, are you, I don't want to sit up here and call it mad, but are you sitting here seeing yourself in, in play and all that? Man, look, as of right now, I'm the third best center in the league. Mm. Right now? Right now. Right now. Right now, I'm the third best center in the league. But, I mean, I'm a fan of the game. I'm always watching. I'm always enjoying, you know, these guys' talents and things of that nature. But. Right. I don't know, the game just in a different place. From my from my perspective, it's in a, it's in a way different place than, you know, I came in with you guys, you no. know, being the top tier guys in the league and of that nature. So the energy was way different. And then, you know, it was a certain point where I was that guy and the energy was way different. And now it's just different. <laughs> it's the best way of putting it. So uh To the point where you don't recognize it no more? I don't it turns recognize. you off a little bit? I, I don't recognize. It's it's the game's just so different that, you know. The foundation of it is completely gone. Yeah. Um, the competitive nature is completely gone. Just, you know, wanting to outdo the next guy in front of you. Mm. I think that whole dynamic is gone. Word. So, um, it ain't no competitive juices no more? You don't think guys love guys it? Guys are friendly. And there's nothing wrong with being friendly. Not being friendly At the end of the day, this is a brotherhood. This, this is, a, this is a, a fraternity. Right. So, but we're, but we're, we're going against each other. Exactly. One has to win, we, one has to lose. We're com we came in as competitors, right. warriors. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that whole concept is gone. Like, I don't want to upset the next guy, or if you say the wrong thing, it's held against you for the next 10 years. Like, it's just, it's just weird. Wow. It's weird. So, um, I don't know, the game is just in a different place, man. I got to ask you this. I never had the chance to ask you this, man. Uh, Rondo is my little brother. That's uh, we, my big bro. No doubt. We're very close. Um, uh, not too much, but he will always give script to, to you and, and, and how great you were. Mm -hmm. And I used to always ask him, man, I never heard about none of your influences growing up. Who influenced you when you, when you was watching? Who, who were you trying to be like? Or who were some of the pieces that you was taking from? So the way I was coming up, like, it was never one guy I wanted to specifically be, by, mm. be like. I, had, I was fans of certain guys, gotcha. and I took something from each guy I fucked with. Mm. You, obviously, the no tenacity. Doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Mellow, being his size, being able to move the way he does, the different gifts. with, And that's... That was my influence on the offensive side of the ball, Mello. Right. Uh, Pau Gasol, Ooh. being able to do the different things with the ball, yeah. pass and being able to shoot. Just, you know, very, very solid player. Mm. Pau, Amari with his explosiveness, right. just attacking the rim the way he did. And then it was Shaq with his dominance. Right. But the guy that I felt like was a combination of all that was Charles Barkley who is really who I feel like I played like. You know what I'm saying? I was a bigger version of him, but wow. we played similar. Facts. But, uh, yeah, he and wasn't he a fan of me too. while I was a fan of him. No, 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 no. You know what it is, Boog? I think a lot of people from the outside watch you play mm -hmm. and forget about themselves. Anybody that's passionate, anybody that's played to dominate the game, everybody, first off, everybody don't play the game they to don't. dominate it. You they understand? Don't. So they ain't going to understand mm -mm. when you dominating it. You know what I'm saying, bro? You you 55 and dub. Yeah. You 55, 20 and seven. Mm -hmm. You 59, 16. Like, yo, 
Yo, you was, yo, real shit. This is how Doe and I would get into these conversations because I saw you like a hybrid of like five to six people. I saw how you could be brute like Shaq, but then have twinkle toes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then, bro, you 250, you 255. You, you doing all this with power. Like, that's why I asked you, man, like, um, some, of, some of those things are, are, are hybrids or are mirrors of other people, but, bro, you was one of your own, bro. Mm -hmm. Were you creatively just in your own head with some of that? Bro, a lot of times I would watch Kevin McHale split a trap with a step over mm -hmm. and he was split. Bro, I saw you split a trap with a spin. Like some of it, like are you are you conscious of what what some of the stuff that you're doing? Uh, I am, and it's also playing to my strengths and also knowing my weaknesses. Mm. Like I was never in a, I, I've never been a high jumper ever at any point in gotcha. my career. Right. So I had to be aware of that, and it got to a point as the different levels I went to, you know, guys, I'm playing against motherfuckers like you. Right. Stronger. Seven feet, strong as shit. Yeah. 40 inch vertical, like it's a different type of game. So I, I gotta figure out how can I still be myself mm. and be productive against basically something that I can't even really shoot over. Mm. So I learned how to use my body from Zebo. Gotcha. As I after I got in the league, I, I'm like, I'm picking up on shit with Z, because Zebo will fuck me up. Right. I'm I'm learning how to play defense the way Tim Duncan would, because you know Tim Timmy put that hand on your shoulder. Right, right. and then don't nobody ever see yeah, the shoulder. And they don't block and he block there. you up top. But you it stops you from getting that lift. Yeah. So I'm picking up on, you know, different mm -hmm. shit. So I was a sponge, and obviously I never had like a a real until dough, but I didn't know God. That's part of my story. Me coming in, I didn't have a, a NBA guy I could call or, or a big bro. I ain't had that. I'm from country ass out, and it should have been Barkley. I was hoping it would have been, but right. you know, those things didn't align. So I learned this shit on my fucking own wow. through trial and tribulation. I ain't have a real vet in Sacramento wow. outside of Francisco Garcia, but he can only teach me so much right. early on. Mm. He couldn't teach me how to be a superstar because he was never a superstar. Facts. Damn. So I had to learn a lot of shit on my own. So I just pick up every time I play a certain player, learn from yo ass. Right. I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing I learned from Big Perk. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Big Perk. Shout yo. out Big Perk. Right. I come in the game before the game even start. You know, we line up for jump. Right, right. Perk giving me the bump off jump. So I'm already on some shit like, man, what the fuck you on? Well, you know we on. Perk ain't paying me no mind. He already in my head. Mm. So I'm picking up on that like, shit, all right. Whoever I play, I'm bumping your ass as soon as we get out there. To the point where you like, man, what you on? I ain't paying you no mind. But I'm in your head. Playing the metal game, yeah. So every time I come around, you worry about me bumping you. No, I'm gonna just go past your ass. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to learn through my trials and tribulations. I picked up on shit. That's dope. Like, ah, okay, I see what you're doing here. That's dope. Yeah, so that's how I had to learn. Like some natural shit, bro. Like yeah. some natural joint, man. Tell me about your uh, your early uh, your early days of coming up, man. I know you. I know you was in high school. Born and raised Alabama boy, country boy. Man, my story. <laughs> I'm gonna just put it like this. I was a. Uh, I've been this height since my freshman year in high school. I started off playing football. Um, what position in football? I wasn't good. Were? I wasn't good. No position? No, I just wanted to be a football oh, player. Oh, okay. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't play. I didn't play. How tall were you? <laughs> Taller, so you know, in Little League, you play, it's pounds. No so doubt. I'm taller than everybody in my class. Right. I'm taller than the kids, man. So I had to play up. Mm. So they dominated me even more. Right. But I got the weight. I couldn't lose the weight. You get better though. Got better. Play bigger. Better. Yeah. Yep. It all worked out for me. All these, all this shit happened. It worked out right. eventually. Right. It all played a small part in who I became. So no doubt. my entire life, I was always, you know, the young guy with all the older people. So I learned, I, I lived a faster life. I, I, I experienced things quicker than the, the other kids my age from... Everything. Every, I hopped off the porch Everything. early. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Put it, you know what that means. Got mean. you. So um, basketball really saved me because I ended up hitting this... It's part of my life, I think we all do. When you come from a certain environment, you, you, you hit this, this certain part of your life, it's Got like, hurdles. what the fuck I'm going to do? Right. Crossroads. Yeah, what? And when you coming up in our rhyme, and it ain't no left or right, motherfucker. It's left, right, up the middle, a little further left, a little going back. It's a, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of routes. So 
<laughs> trying to figure this out. And credit to my mom. You know what I'm saying? I, crazy thing, I'm, I'm walking through school. This is how my basketball story started. I'm walking through school. This is seventh grade. Walking through school and um, skipping class at the time. AAU coach is walking down. Uh, shout out to Gary, Coach Gary. But um, he's walking through the hallways and he stops me. Like, and at this time, I'm like 6'6". Six, six. Mm. Six four, and I'm like six five, six six. So he stops me. He's like, "Man, like I told you, yada yada yada." You know, I tell him. He's like, "What are you like, sophomore? You know, junior?" I'm like, "Nah, I'm in the seventh. Damn. He like, "What the fuck?" He like, "You play ball, son?" Exactly. He like, "You play ball?" I'm like, "Hell no, nah, I'm just out here." Like, <laughs> you know Come what here. I'm saying? Come here. So he like, man, he got my information. I need you at practice today. So. Mm. I go home and I'm like, Ma, yeah, some man hollered at me and he trying to do this, this, and this with me. I'm like, man, I ain't fucking with that shit. He talking mm -hmm. about traveling all over the world playing basketball. I'm like, came right at you. Straight up. I'm like, man, I don't know about all that. So my mom ended up having a conversation when she come back to me like, you know, so I think you need to do this. Mm. I'm like, Ma, I ain't feeling that. Like, I don't even know what that shit. Like, man, listen, just try it out because all you really doing right now is getting in trouble. All right. You know, no part doubt. of the bullshit. No doubt. So you should, like, you need to do this. Try it out. Rest is history. Oh, wow. So, and even through that, I was, it was a little rinky dink AAU team. Like, we was doing car washes and selling donuts just to make a tournament. No doubt. That's that so, country shit you Country do. shit. Like, real country shit. Real so, right. I was never a, a prospect where I was, like, being groomed. You know, most of these guys are grown coming in. Right. Yourself, like bro, like y'all were groomed at a certain you. point. Yeah, I got you. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? You you had somebody that was Facts. You know what I'm saying? You, right, right, right. For me, it was just like I'm learning. I ended up trusting two people, which was my mom and my AU coach, Danny Pritchett. And it's mm -hmm. like, man, and I and all I'm hearing is like, man, you gonna be an NBA player, this and this and that. And I'm like, I'm like, how the hell you know? How many NBA players you know? So how the fuck you know I'm going to the NBA, man? Like, he's pushing it like that. But he's pushing it. And obviously, you know, your, 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 your elders and adults, they see shit that you can't see as a young person. Facts. But in my head, all I see is my environment. All I see was what's around me. So it's like, I don't believe the shit you saying. And I don't even have the confidence inside it. Like, I don't think I'm that good. I'm better than y'all, nigga, because y'all ain't shit. Right. right. <laughs> I'm better than y'all, but that don't mean I'm something. You know what I'm saying? I so, get you. I get you. Shit just kind of played out. This coach, my coach, uh, my AU coach, Coach Danny, he worked. That motherfucker would literally come pick me up every day. Even when I'm like, nah, I'm cool. Like, nah, come on. Go get it in. We in the gym. That's what's up. Every day That's in the gym. Up. And then, Shut and up. by ninth grade, I started in seven. By ninth grade, I was the number one player in the country. You always had the handle? You always so had So this the... how that happened. So like I said, I, I told you the people I watch. I'm watching Melo and shit. And I was always a fan of basketball. I just didn't play. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm like, and I never was like, I want to be, right, you know, the right, still right, big right. and drunk. Like, I ain't like, trying to do none of that shit. shit. I'm out here trying to look cool, <laughs> nigga. Like, I ain't doing none of that shit. Boring ass <laughs> shit, man. Like, <laughs> fuck a jump, Yeah, huh? man, I ain't doing nigga shit. Nigga I'm like trying shit. to split the defense and bang out on the mother, like. <laughs> So when I would hoop, you know, I just try shit. Mm. Like I said, this is a rinky dink ass. Mm. <laughs> we ain't playing for shit. Facts. I'm just trying shit. Mm. And, and the first time I do it, I may kick that bitch in the stand. Mm. Second time I do it, I may get to the rim and airball the layup. By the third mm. time I'm doing you know exactly it. exactly what I'm doing. I done got to the rim and banged out on your ass. So, that's how the so I'm like, okay. So, so the confidence just grew. And... I just try shit. Wow. Just keep trying. I go home. I'm watching the motherfucker do the motherfucking um, Steve Francis Reebok commercial. They dribbling oh, off yeah, the wall yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, let yeah, me yeah. try this shit, man. <laughs> I'm just trying shit, K. Okay? Steve Francis got you at home dribbling off the off wall. Off the wall, bro. Peter Paul said try it all. <laughs> so I'm just trying shit, and I'm getting good at it. So that shit just all came together for me. Wow. By the time you get to Kentucky... You got to... I still don't believe. Really? So I ain't ever told this story, but coming out of high school, you know what I'm saying, I had a situation where it was a shorty saying, you know what I'm saying, I had a kid mm -hmm. by her, you know, typical mm -hmm. bullshit. Yeah. So in my head, I'm like, 
One, I'm not even really believing this whole hoop shit like that. I'm number one, I'm top five in the country, all this shit. At this, I'm still not really, it's still not really clear to me. Wow. So I got this, I, I got this seed, and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I got my own little personal, you know, internal thing stemming from my father. So I've always had a goal, like if I ever have my own seeds. You want to be a certain way? I'm going to be different from what I experienced. That was a personal goal always through life, because mm -hmm. that's something that fucked with me. Right. So, um, you know, so I'm, I'm allegedly having this seed, and it's like, you know, fuck that shit. Like, I'm gonna stay home, and I'm gonna do right by a little man. Oh, wow. So I'm on my official visit at Kentucky, and mom's being mom's, love her to death. She, she convinced me to get a DNA test, because seed was here. I'm, I'm taking care of the seed, living with me. You're so. going, you're going. And mom's, I'm, you know, I'm falling in love with it. Moms, you know, that intuition, moms being moms, she's like, you need to get a test. So I, as I'm walking through the doors of Kentucky, I swear to God, I die right now, I'm lying. I'm walking through the doors of Kentucky to go on my visit to meet Kyle. The, the doctor calls, calls my mom's phone. My mom like, this is the doctor. She's like, answer this real quick. Mm. Hello, I'm like, come back like, yeah, it's not yours. Oh, wow, damn, Did you supposed to go do the visit like this? Oh, I'm fucked up in that moment, but I'm like, man, look, I'll worry about that shit later. Like, I walk in there now, I'm like, I got a clear mind on like what I'm about to do. So it, it kind of started a fire in me. I'm like, yeah, Kyle, I'm coming to Kentucky, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make this shit happen. Oh, wow. And, you know, I handled that situation for what it was and oh, wow. moved on with my life. So at this point, I'm now at a new stage in my life with Kentucky. I'm still not confident. I'm coming in, I ain't on no draft boards or no shit like that. Mm. Like, I had my, you know, rough history throughout high school. I'll speak on that on another time, but you know, it's already kind of a stigma about me. And at this point, I still don't know how to be a professional. Shit, I don't even know how to really be a collegiate athlete. Mm. I'm just going with the flow. Like I said, I'm learning through trials and tribulations. I still don't have this person I can call like, hey, how I need to do this? So who I learned from? I learned from my roommate, John Wall. Mm. So I'm looking at how John Wall carry yourself. I told him this when we were in Houston. I, I told him that we was having a little, you know, yeah. guys. And I, I'm, I'm rapping. I'm like, five, I ain't never told you the story before. So I'm like, man, I learned from you on how to prepare myself for this next level. And, you know, five had a little team around him, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, prepare him for that next level. So I, we, we roommates, as they would come see him and shit, I'm just taking in the information. Mm. I'm like, okay. And John so Wall's a big deal in high school, coming he, in, he number, number one. one pick. Right. So, you know, it's a little team. You know how, you know how this shit Put it shit around him. They put that structure around him. Exactly. So I'm just... Falling there. Okay, I need... Okay, fine, I need to go work on this. All right, bet I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go work on my shit too then. So everything fine, and I watched how he carried himself just with the media and, and the fans, and I'm like, okay. So I'm just people. I'm just mm. taking in the shit I can. That's what's up. Man, by the end of the year, I'm they like, man, top five. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, shit. New money. New I'm, money. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that, but I'm just like, bro, I don't even know if I'm ready. Like, they think I'm still not mm. confident enough to be like, I'm ready. What was it? You just knew your flaws? My flaws. All I ever heard in my life was my flaws. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Only the people close to me was the ones telling me how great I was. In life, all I heard was my flaws. Gotcha. So that shit destroyed my confidence as a young, as a young puppy. Wow. So I had to find my, like I said, through my trials and tribulations. Mm. So with that, it's like, okay, you top five picks. So I had the conversation with Kyle. In my head, I'm like, I'm gonna come back to call. I'm doing one more year. And then, you know, you kind of, well, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know, you came straight out. But you kind of, you know, fall in love with it. This is the first time, like, I enjoyed playing basketball. Oh. I felt loved, I felt like I could be my, Kentucky, like, put me in a, like, a place of just like, mm. what's the word, like, just, it was, a, it was a peaceful environment. I could just be myself, I wasn't, being judged, they enjoyed me for me. Like, all the positives That's I was looking up, for in my life. That's what's up. So I'm like, man, I want to stay here. Like, I'm trying to win a championship, mm -hmm. all this shit. So I 
I holler at Five. I'm like, man, what you think about Stan? I'm thinking about, you know, Joe Kim Noah and them the floor. Five was like, nigga, please. <laughs> We are. Man, I'm going to the league. I'm you like, sure? all right, well, okay, I right, bet. So let me go back to the drawing board. I had a conversation with Kyle. I'm like, Kyle, I'm thinking about coming back. And this was me and Kyle conversation. This is the end of the year joint. This is the end of the year meeting. And I conversation lasts about three minutes. So I'm like, I think I'm thinking about coming back. Kyle was like, all I got to say is, he was like, if you want to take care of your family, you're going to leave. Mm. If you want to take care of my family, you're going to stay. Oh, wow. Appreciate you. Oh, everything was, you did yeah. for me, Kyle. I, I see you in. Damn. That was our conversation. Damn, that was gangsta. Damn, that was gangsta. Went on. Move to the next phase. Get a great offer courtesy of KG Certified and BetMGM, the king of sports book. Sign up using bonus code KG1000 and you'll get back up to $1,000. Yes, $1,000 in your bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. That's for real. BetMGM's parlay specials, daily odds, boosts, Fan-friendly promos make it the best place to bet on all your favorite sports. Download the BetMGM app today or go to BetMGM.com and enter the bonus code KG1000. Yes, KG1000. And you'll get up to $1,000 back in your bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. Nothing beats a W at BetMGM. Bet responsibly and nothing but love. So you get to the league. You saying you wasn't even all the way A1 with the confidence. Bro. What, what's driving you at this point? I seeing ain't got that you, shit to lose. Facts, facts. And seeing that you better than some of these And then I'm too. like, and then when it just, I'm not even, I'm speaking just from a mental standpoint. Facts, facts. When it came to the hoop shit, it's just like all that shit cut off. I shut all that shit off, and all I know is I'm better than every nigga on this court. Oh, wow. It didn't matter who it was. And even if it was somebody considered better, I'm gonna be better eventually. Facts, facts. Cause I'm gonna figure you out. Facts. That's how you look too, man. When I start studying you, start studying, it was hard to get a beam on like something that you did consistently, cause you didn't normally go one way. And oh yeah. You know another thing that you did great now that you say Zebo, cause I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm I'm putting it together. Man, your pump fakes. Mm -hmm. Man, you you was one of the people. And I'm teaching everybody here right now that <clears throat> when you rip through and you do a move, you have to rip through and go because the defender coming. Mm -hmm. You was probably the best at ripping and then putting the pump fake. I ain't going to say stop it because you can't stop it, all of it. Mm -hmm. But you you gave an A move and then your B was to, was to put something on the end because you yes. knew my momentum coming. Yes, like, use man, your momentum you, against you. How, how, how you how you how you how you get into something like that? Are you watching film, or is it just by again you soaking it up on job training type shit? Like I said, when it came to me hooping, I never wanted to be just one dimensional, one dimensional. What they used to teach in the man, you don't hear this shit no more at all. But when I came in, they used to teach you gotta have a go to move. Yep. And what was every big's go to Jump. move? Jump that up. That fucking bullshit Jump ass up. hook. Jump up. What happens when they stop it? You pass that bitch out. Right. So it's like, I don't even want that type of situation to happen for me. Right. So I'm like, okay. And you facing. And you turn around, you so facing. So one, I'm facing up. Right, that's different. Two, it depends on who's guarding me. All right. Because you're a dungeon I got, too. Yep. I, got, I got big perk guarding me. I'm going to get past him. Because right, yeah. I can't, I can't outbody him. Right. I'm going to get past him. Right. But I might have to make two extra moves to get past him. And it's all, and when I mean get past, it's not my entire body, it's my shoulders. Shoulders, yeah. Because that's what you're going to all I got to get past you is my shoulders on a drive, yeah. on a layup, whatever. I just got to get my shoulders past yeah. So that's always the angle I'm looking for. How can I get my shoulders past? So if I am got perk, I'm out quick. Mm. I got a smaller guy, let's say, I don't know. Uh, give mm. me a big, a smaller big from back Just Bosh. Bosh. I'm going to use my body. Right, right, right. I can't out quick. I can't no out quick him. No doubt. But... Hey, maybe he's super strong today. This motherfucker lifted today. Right. He taking them bumps well today. Right. So I'm going to outquick you, then bump you. Right. And let's see how you handle that. And you're constructing all these moves off of watching film and then playing these people. It's ain't nobody giving you no bag or nothing. Film. You ain't even... This is you. all feel. Damn. It's just feel. Damn. So you giving a real download like that where you just giving everybody you playing, it's like a new script then, eh? Mm-hmm. So, oh, wow. And uh, I got guys, you know, you kind of talking. This motherfucker's like, my guy Monte Morris uh, played with the Wizards, and his, his favorite point guard really can't guard me at all. But, you know, he'd be like, man, I know all your moves. I can guard you. Well, how do you know my moves and I don't know them? 
I don't know my moves. It's all feel for me. I was about to say, you reacting. You yeah, ain't got no everything's moves. Everything's a reaction. Facts. Facts. You cut that off, I'm going to spin and put this shoulder on you. That's now you behind me. Man. I might throw the pump fake in, too, just to get you off your feet. That's crazy. Then I'm stepping through, getting right. bumped, and, one, and I got the angle to the layup that you can't block. And you obeying that motherfucker if you fucking around. Oh, don't I fuck around. You, like, yeah, yeah. I, not, I not seen you yeah. like a couple motherfuckers like Don't let me get my feet under me. You gonna be a, you gonna be on the poster. Talk about um, cause you played with some some great bigs in college. Um, do you have a nemesis? You got some, who who would you call who would you call your nemesis? Who is that one player you play where you not only look forward to playing with, but they also raised your level in the league at the time. At the time, my nemesis were. It was always for me, because I never really had like a, a partner in crime, because at the time we was playing, it was two bigs. Mm, right. So You talking about your days in Pelicans? New I'm Orleans? saying in my heyday where it was still kind of two bigs. In no, I got you. I got you. I got you. My my nemesis was it was it would all it would go between uh Blake Griffin and DJ mm. and Zebo and Mark. Cause those were the only and I throw oh. Perk and Surge in there. Okay. Those were the guys I look forward to every time. So, so this how you looking at it? Ain't, and then yeah, cause and then th it's a lot of buddy buddying off you. Ooh. Buddy buddy meaning that I'm guarding I'm guarding Cuz, but the nigga who playing the four to five, he yeah, actually I, helping yeah, too. Make sure you here now. We don't want dude so, to get so, off. So yeah. so so Zebo got you. Yeah. But he Zebo's job is to make you spin so Mark can come beat your shit. Yeah. So that's called buddy buddy. Mm hmm. And what's so crazy is that, man, I'm, I'm telling you, I studied you like a book. Your first move was for the second guy. Absolutely. I'm never you worried about the first You were spinning off Zebo, come with the pump fake, get Mark's ass, and hit his ass under. Mm -hmm. Lord, I, Lord, Lord, you had a really like a, um, I don't know if, how much um, of Kevin McHale did you watch, but you really had a lot of Kevin McHale You know, niggas thought you was coming with like a Bolo kind of Debo kind of mm -hmm. Shaq. When a, you know, I what? had that too, though. I, I know, <laughs> but but I'm saying it was hard to watch film on you, bro. If I'm being mm -hmm. 100, like if I, if I'm coming middle and I'm anticipating, I can't even do that because if I if I if I come to it, you'll drop and you know what I'm saying. So I guarded you. I guarded you. I can only remember one time I guarded you, dog, and I was trying to make you spin. I was trying to I was trying to go to your skill set. And I remember one time I I, I mean I, you if if y'all looked this up when I played cousin, you probably remember this. But I, do, I, I, tried, I tried to strip you. I tried to rip you. You, rat, you, you spun out that motherfucking slow-mo on my ass like, ooh, like the Matrix. <laughs> man, I left. You know, I got a whole crew of niggas. Hey, man, what Big Fella like? Yeah, Big Fella got some shit with him. Because the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make you go to a B and a C move. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, this nigga pump face is killing me. I, I, I'm not a nigga who go for pump face. Right. I'm the one who go actually get you all going and shit and get... I was like, man, and that's when I knew. Oh, no, he got a mental game with this. Mm -hmm. The mental game, and, and, and Doe would always break it down. And I always wonder, like, I wonder who is this... Yo, nemesis, man. Like, who always get... You say DJ and Blake? I mean, those are games. I wouldn't really say I had a nemesis because yeah, I'm going to keep it a buck. Wasn't nobody fucking with me. Facts. I'm going to just keep it all the way on. Nobody was fucking with me as a big. Facts. Nobody. Wow. What's the days of... Um, I've always wanted to know this. What's the summer? What's the summer summertime run in Kentucky like? When it's Cat, when it's AD, when it's John Wall, when it's Doe. You know what's when crazy? When we have black so y'all ain't. Are you fuck? Y'all ain't did a cookout in the summertime in Kentucky. Yeah, one. Po, cook, cook. Yeah, really, it's a different era though, bro. No, bro. You got to bring the guys. Era. You got to bring the guys all back together, man. Go to Cow House. Talk to the young boys who right there. All the young boys who in college right now. All y'all go back. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about all y'all. Fuck everything, man. Kentucky got that. Y'all got that. Yeah, we got Y'all got that. Y'all got that. Y'all got that. Y'all got that. Y'all y'all damn near like Masons got that. Y'all got a whole <laughs> class of Adolf Roof and, and, yeah. and, and Pat Riley. And the, the motherfuckers don't even mass burn. Like, a lot. like people don't even remember. Like you damn forget, forget, bro. Yeah. I have it. I'm a historian. Mm -hmm. Talk about Kentucky and just those days, bro. Like, nah, I, 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 I hate to even go there, but that's where I yeah, went. I, I mean, I spoke on it a little bit. Like, that's yeah. the most fun I've ever had playing basketball. Say word.
Like, it was about basketball. It wasn't no politics. It wasn't no bullshit. The team, we was a vibe. It was a brotherhood. I knew my guy had my back. He knew I had his back. It was, nothing was ever, it was never cloudy. It was never no gray area. Everything was black and white there. Okay, let me ask you this. I got to set this up. I'm glad mm -hmm. you said that, right? Because <clears throat> in the days of where we have NIL in college now, if someone would have said to you, DeMarcus Cousins, instead of going to the league, with NIL being where it is today in college, could someone possibly proposition you to do four years in college with being able to be paid like you were in the NBA? The league a little different. The league, league nine different. figures, mm -hmm. high eight figures, but to get a high seven figures in college? To make $5 million in high school, bro? Bro, you following the NIL deals? Are you watching yeah, some of yeah, the I'm seeing them. <laughs> hell yeah. How, at, how, how, let me ask you this. I asked Pete this. Is there going to be a time where we see four-year players come back to college to do two-year, three-year, and, 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 and colleges re-sign those players? It depends. It depends on the, uh, on the talent level. It really? It depends. I'm saying, I mean, because you, there's always going to be some kid, I don't think every kid's going to take the G League route. Facts. I don't think everybody's prepared for that. Some guys need that. I was a guy that needed. Mm. The, I don't think I could have came straight up. Mm. I was too naive, mm. too ignorant to everything going on. Mm. Shit, I was that when I came in. Facts, facts. So I was even more coming out. I was mm. straight out of the jungle. Gotcha, like, gotcha. So it, it depends on certain situations. It also depends on the talent of the player. And mm. we can use examples. Guys like a Tyler Hansborough, who was, you know, a college yep. legend. Yep. I think that type of guy would benefit from that greatly because mm -hmm. once he gets to this other side, like the NBA, it's, it's not the same thing. It's short, yep. You know what I'm saying? So I think a guy like that benefits, but then you have a John Wall. No, why he, the fuck would you stay four yeah, years? He gotta go to league. He gotta go to the league. So I think it's a great option and I'm happy about it because one, even the guys that aren't as talented that can go to that next level, they can mm -hmm. they still went through that same grind and sacrifice. Right, right. The motherfucking feet was hurting just like the next guy. Facts, facts. But does it help? But does it save college? It saves college. Oh, college, man. <laughs> that shit. I'm man. just watching college. At news. this point, colleges they they're giving their reparations, man. Mm. At this point, they've robbed us enough. Mm. Let's just keep it a buck. These ain't number reparations, bro. It's bad. Man, that shit's sick. Talent pool. When you bad really right talk now. about it, when you really sit there and, and, and dig deep into the shit that they had going on in college and how they treated these athletes, that shit's sick. Mm. This ain't nothing but reparations, man. Payback. I don't give a fuck about that college. Payback for some I watched how many people, man, I was at Kentucky, and, and this is no not to Kentucky, because this is just the time we was in. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm going, we having tournaments in fucking Cancun, Mexico. And there's 3,000 people with a Cousins in Kentucky shirt. But the vendor outside, he just made 60 bands with my name. <laughs> but I get in trouble for a free meal? Facts. Come on, bro. Or, or a drink or anything. Like, anything. like what? Anything. This nigga just made 60 bands off my name. Damn. And I, don't, I can't get a free meal? Damn. These reparations, bro. Give a fuck about no college. I don't care about nothing. I got love for Kentucky. No doubt. But the NCAA can kiss my ass. <laughs> Would you ever train? Would you ever train players? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, is it players that you watch that you want to? Absolutely. Who, who are some of your favorite players to watch? One or two of them. Um, I love Big Joe. I mean, Joe reminds me a lot of myself, just with everything he can do. So Joel, for sure. I like Jokic. Um, yeah. I'm a fan of Cat. I mean, I think those three are the best offensive bigs in the league. Mm. But the guys that I think are right on the cusp and, like, I would love an opportunity to work with, kind of under the radar, Wendell Carter. Oh, yeah, Orlando. down in Orlando, Ooh. yeah. He got a lot of good bones, man. He Bro. wants to be a little bit too perimeter for me, though. He shoot he the three. He got it, though. He shoot the three. He got it. He's he strong as hell, he, though. He reminds me of—bro, he, he don't, got it. He, go he, got the, he got it, bro. 
The fact that he can play outside and come down, give you the jump or right, come back, right. and, yeah, counter, yeah, yeah, counter. Yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah. give me Wendell. I, I'll turn that into a monster. Wendell. Shout to Wendell, man. Yeah, man. He, I, listen, a lot of times when I'm watching him, man, he a finesse when I thought he should have he should have just, ah. Sometimes you got to figure it yeah, out, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that too. You got to figure it and out. And then he young, too. Yeah, baby. How old is he? How, Wendell, like, what, just four, three years, four years he been Might in the be league? four, five, man. Damn. Four? What is it? Wendell been in the league five years? Yeah, baby. God damn. Yeah, baby. So I would love a chance. I think, yeah, I like I think he got a lot of game. Um, who else is out there? Uh... I like Scotty Barnes. Yeah, I like Scott Barnes. I like Scotty Barnes. I, I I think I could add a dynamic to his game. I mean, he's a more perimeter-oriented guy, yeah. but he's such a big forward. He is. If he developed anything midi to around the go, monster. He can play monster. point forward right now. He I didn't know his I didn't know his handle was lot. like that. He got a lot. I didn't know his handle was like that. Yeah. I, I love Scotty though. Scotty yeah, Barnes is one of my favorite. Six years. Six, Six years for yeah. Wendell. Sam Mitchell, uh, shout to Sam Mitchell, man. He was, he was, uh, he was telling about Wendell. I guess he was doing some mentorship with Wendell. Mm -hmm. Man, I gotta ask you this, man. Man, we, I think we was outside hollering about this, man. I gotta, I gotta ask you this, man. It looks like, um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a two-parter because I gotta ask you where the game going. The game's super European. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a whole nother story, right? Right. But when I'm watching, when I'm watching the league, man. Man, joke about to win his third. He's about to win his third straight MVP. And when I look at the abundance of talent in the league, I can't sit up here and say like, oh my, I got, like I can't sit up here and say, I got Joker right here yeah. and, and everybody right here. Like, three straight in a row, bro? It, man, you gotta give me something morning, man. I um, mean, it's, 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 this, this is no knock to Jokic because He's an incredible, incre he's a Hall of Fame talent. He's I was going to ask you. Hell of a player. I was going to ask hell you. Hell of a player. I was going to ask you. I've witnessed it personally. Is it the system, though, Boogie? Could you pick him up? Can I think you pick he created him up? the system. Mm. It's a di I don't think this was a system put around. I think he created that system mm. because he's that talented. Mm. So the I, offense that I think Malone he created. Put in, he, he just using Jokic as the, yes. you know, a uh, long time ago, 76. The uh, tra Portland Trailblazers used uh, Bill Walton like this, where he mm -hmm. was a, he was just doing all this with Johnny Davis and all the guards they had. Do you see? Is, is it something like that where he just they just playing through him and yeah, he, he just making he, everybody nah, better? He blowing Billy out the water, bro. He yeah. blowing Billy out the water. I'm just saying in the times where in that time in 70, 76, 77, uh, the Trailblazers mm -hmm. were using Bill that way. That was more, it was more so half court. This is a full court game. Yeah, it is. Yeah. He, that's what I'm saying. He's blowing Bill out there. They still bringing the ball this, down, throwing yeah. it to Bill, Bill. Then he's making it. I'm saying he's going through it. The offense yeah. going through him. Same shit. He's bringing shit. it up. Yeah, he initiating it. Yeah, Bill wasn't initiating it. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't. Jamal Murray's taking the ball out, Facts. giving it to him. Facts. Damn. That's a play? <laughs> Come on, bro. He's coming down and initiating. He's created the system. But I'm not okay with it being three MVPs in a row because it then becomes a conversation of, is this the best basketball player to ever touch a basketball? And I think we can all agree on that and say it's not. Mm. Not saying he can't be, not saying he doesn't deserve more down the road, mm. but at this stage in his career, I'm not okay with saying that. Mm. He hasn't won anything. Wow. He, he hasn't been to a final. Like it's, it's a lot of things still in play for that. So that's my only concern. It, and now this is, we're in the conversation. He's, at this point, he's the best center of all time. Well, he's going With in three in a row? Yeah, three in a row. Can he dominate? We're putting him over the likes of Shaquille O'Neal, Hakeem Olajuwon, Tim Duncan. They, and it's just like, Wilt Chamberlain's like, that's a, that's a tough conversation to have. Because we've seen what these guys have done. We've seen how their careers have panned out. So can we sit here and say right now, today, that Jokic, not only the best big to ever play, but the best basketball player to ever touch a ball with three MVPs in a row? And I'm not comfortable saying that. I'm just not comfortable saying that. And, he go, and, and it looks like, and, and you know, he hasn't won it. 
But it, but he's averaging a triple double. I, see, I don't I don't see him not winning this. But I also don't understand that analogy either because when Russ was the you know he yeah. made it cool to do this again like, I, after Oscar and he did it two seasons back to but back. But after on the second season it's like oh whatever. Right, we did. So why are we now glorifying it now? Oh, no, we didn't we didn't give it shine that second one. That second we didn't. One. We was off it. We was on to the next guy. Mm. So why are we giving him this shine? To a guy that's not on, and I got it last year. He had an unhealthy team. He carried the team to the playoffs. Cool. They number he one has a year. fully healthy team. They number one this He's year. He's averaging a triple double. Yep. At this point, it's a norm because this is the same thing that Russ did. So why is it now being like this is so amazing? Let's let's move. On. I, my personal opinion, I'm going with Joel this year. I think Joel got a chance to I win. I think it. with this new. Young generation of players, outside of Bron, Katie, and all those guys, this new generation, those three guys are the most dominant. Two of them already got in their flowers. Let this young guy get his flowers, man. Because he deserves it. How much, how much longer does he have to put in his work to get his flowers? He's leading the league in scoring. It's going to be hard. It's not hard. The league always looks at the teams that are winning. That's not true. I'm telling you. We just spoke on two guys. Jokic wasn't winning last year. Nope, he wasn't. Russ wasn't winning that year. What they go to? They go to the efficiency share? What's, what's I don't know what. That's what it changes. It's like, who, who do we love this year? What storyline are we pushing this narrative, year? narrative, yep. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck. And not taking anything away from Russ, but it became a storyline when KD left. Mm. That's solid. Then once it happened, they went on to the next story. Right. And then he did it the next year. So if, if it's about being number one and winning, yeah. Steph should have multiples. Facts. Bron should have multiples. Facts. Shit. Book. Devin Booker should have MVP. They were number one in the West last, yeah, for three, a couple three years. years ago, yeah. what, what are we talking about? It's strong arguments. I hear what you're saying. So it, it, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what the requirements are to become MVP. Man. Because it's kind of all over the place. Yeah, it is. Who, who do we like this year? Who's the favorite? Who we kissing ass to this year? <laughs> Let's just keep it a buck. I don't know. I don't know what the requirements are. Can you be in today's game and be a big and not have two things? A three ball and a Euro. You got to have those things to be a, a starting center. Nah, you ain't got to You don't have to be if that. You're going to be a superstar <laughs> center. To be a superstar center, you have to have those. To be a max center, you have to have those. To be a star center, you don't. You Trail just gotta three, be able to. You, you gotta be able to jump high, run fast, and be athletic. They don't have to all go together, but that's what you need to be a starter. Are you shocked at what you're seeing from a guy like Brook Lopez? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I know what that dude do. Shout to Logan, dog. Yeah, I know what he do. I've I've been on the other side of that. Right. I know what he do. He a quiet monster, too. You know, he just got kind of stripped of his privilege. You know, it gets to a point in your career, they just kind of like, nah, you ain't that no more. He got stripped of his privilege. The boy can ball, always good. But you know what's crazy? Brooks' outside shot is like what's keeping him afloat in this whole thing. His three ball came out of no. Like, since, I think, I think, um, I want to say like 15, 16. Mm -hmm. I think ever since 15, 16, he's taking this, this voyage on like shooting the three in this. <laughs> he's shooting. Deep. He's shooting that motherfucker from the, from the parking lot. Yeah, he me? is. He shoot that motherfucker from the parking lot, huh? He. Yeah, he is. And he might. And he got a good chance of uh, Mike being able to win a uh, uh, defensive player of the year, man. Is he? Yeah. That's dope. He. Uh, I think he's the first or second in contest and shots and shots blocked. Emmy Claxton. Emmy Claxton. He having a good ass year too. He is, man. Yeah, he having a crazy year. What's um? Are you into the podcast game yet? You jumped in yet? Are you gonna? Man, find I've been, I've been. So many people have told me to, you know, start using my voice more. Uh, well, people want to hear from you. I know. You know what I'm talking about. A good friend of mine, Draymond. He's probably been one of the biggest advocates. Like, man, get you a podcast. Go, go speak. No doubt. So. Um, it's probably in the works. Let I, me know, man. I, I, absolutely. Yeah, you know what I'm tapping in. Let me know. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, this will probably be one of the, your favorite things because 
this is your chance to be able to fire back or be able to give you your take. There. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But anything that comes out or anything that we ain't feeling, we come on here and we speak about it. And don't nobody, we're not, we're not censored. We fuck, yeah, fuck, fuck, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And that's the beauty of it, having partners versus a boss. You know what I'm right. saying? Coming in, working with people. Um, what's next for you, man? Man, I'm going to finish. I'm going to squeeze this lemon. Keep, you know, I'm 32. I got a lot of hoop left in me. Right. So I'm going to squeeze this lemon with that. I still got a, a burning desire to play. So um, if it's, you know, the league or, you know, somewhere else, I'm going to go finish playing ball. Are you watching Dwight? Yeah, I see Dwight, man. Dwight over there living like a... Dwight living like a... 83, 9 Like, man, what the... <laughs> Shout out to Dwight, man. man. He about to get a max in I'm China. Ha I'm, ha I'm, ha I'm, ha I'm happy for him, <laughs> Hell man. Hell yeah, I'm happy for him, Get a man in Taiwan, man. Yeah, he, uh, get that man his Thailand, flowers, man. Give him his flowers, flowers facts, man. Facts. Shit. He getting it done. Because people don't know, man. You see the numbers? You got to go get them. How is he you gotta not put top the bucket. You got to put it in the bucket. You hear me? How is he not top 75? <sighs> man, listen. You know, they, they got a whole script on this joint, man. Yeah. They got a whole script on what they want. They got a whole script on what they want to look like. They got a whole script on what it's supposed to say. Mm -hmm. they, they, you know? You got you to stay original to who you are, man. You got to stay true to who you are and what you doing. If Absolutely. not, yo, you get, you get side swiped out here. You feel me? Get lost in this shit. Straight up and down, man. Mm -hmm. and, and listen, you need some help on that podcast, you let me know, bro. Just, just, I'm in this, for real. Okay. And anything you want to talk about, Absolutely. Man. Anytime you come in here, you let me know, man. This is sure. a safe place. You feel me? Absolutely. Hell My yeah. My dog, man. Man, the one and only, DeMarcus Cousins, a.k.a. Boogie. Appreciate you. Certified. Like me, Lee Murray wanted to be world champion in the UFC. He just happens to be involved in the largest cash robbery in the world. This is the sort of thing you see in Hollywood films. Heists, armed gang, huge amounts of money. The policeman, shorty, hoodie, Mr. Average, high vis, driver, and stopwatch. Fiendishly clever plan, which up to the moment they drove away had worked flawlessly. Catching lightning, only on Showtime, streaming with Paramount Plus.